Welcome back, Casey Campbell with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by Luca Pryor of Northville Football. How's it going, man? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good, doing well. So um, you've had to be, you've had your name called this year. I know last night was not the night that you wanted, but overall you played pretty well. Yeah, uh, I felt like our game plan was good going into the game. I felt like uh, we definitely had a shot to win the game, uh, put the game away a few times. You know, we couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, I felt like I played well. I felt like the team played well. Uh, we competed. It was, you know, just unfortunate. We couldn't, couldn't pull it out yesterday. So overall, how do you think you're overall doing since you took over for Jack? Uh, you know, Jack, Jack's a good leader. Uh, Jack has helped me get prepared for the game playing along with, uh, coach Rohrhoff. Um, but I felt like I, I stepped up. Uh, I felt like I've played pretty well all year when I've gotten, uh, opportunities. Um, felt like I was ready, ready to go. And uh, yeah, I, have, I think I had four touchdowns yesterday. Uh, we had great receiver play. O line did their job. Um, and, you know, we ran the ball a little bit yesterday for the first time, um, which I think definitely contributed to our success. Uh, but yeah, it was just unfortunate we couldn't, we just came up just short. Yeah. So overall, I mean, you know, you've been waiting for kind of this change and you've, I know Northville has had their tough moments this year, um, but overall you, you guys are, how do you guys think you're doing, even though the record may not speak for it? I think that we're, I, I think that we're one of the, one of the uh, top teams in this conference. I, I really do. I think talent wise, there's not many teams, let alone the conference, but in the state that, that are better than us. I think that we just need to put it all together. You know, uh, last year we had a pretty successful year. Uh, granted that that was a COVID year. Um, but I feel like, you know, we have all the pieces. Uh, we just kind of need to put it together sooner or later. And, and I think we will, you know, it starts with, with Salem this week, Harlan next week, but I think it's just about putting the pieces all together. So going into this, this, this coming, these next few weeks, what, what's that going to be like? What do you got, what do you got to go through as, trying to get trying to get it done man uh I think you know it starts in practice it starts uh Sunday at film uh we need to you know correct our mistakes uh and, and keep doing what's right keep doing what's working for us um I think uh we have a lot of imp improvement to do offensively as well as defensively um but I think you know that obviously you know starts in practice I think if we have you know a good week of practice this week come out with a win and you know we'll be ready to go uh but yeah, no, definitely just all starts in, in preparation. How do you handle a loss like that? Uh, I think that I take the 24 hour rule pretty seriously. So I think uh, I like to think about it for about 24 hours, look at film and then, you know, move on to Salem. I think that that was a tough one last night, probably our most uh, tough loss of the year, a game that, you know, we think we should have won, but uh yeah, you just got to, you know, play it off after 24 hours and look forward to the next one, as, you know, as hard as it may be. All right. Well, Luca, let's get to know you a little bit. How about that? Let's have some fun. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, overall, what is your favorite movie, TV show? What, are you binge watching anything right now? Uh, you know, I was watching The Walking Dead. Uh, I got out of that a little bit. I watched uh, Designated Survivor. And yeah. then I just was watching uh, Title Town High, which just dropped on Netflix. Oh, nice. Um, favorite football moment that you've ever had? Uh, definitely uh, back in eighth grade, uh, Northville Stallions uh, winning a league championship over a, you know, a tough Wald Lake Braves team that, that we had no business beating. But uh, definitely pulling out a championship in eighth grade was by far my best football moment. Um, what's your favorite sports team to root for? Uh, I'm a big New York Yankees and New York Knicks fan. Uh, from New York? No, nah, I have family from New York, but I'm also a Steelers fan. Uh, nice. so th those are the big three for me, but yeah, huge Yankees fan. Um, overall, hmm, what's, what's, uh, what's, what is your go-to place for food? Like, do you have like, what's... Where are, you, where are you heading? Uh, for me, I like to keep it simple. I go to, uh, it's called Honey Tree right around us. It's just, you know, classic American food. Uh, 
but I also go places. Uh, I like Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I like Panera. Uh, just easy stuff like that. Big on Chipotle too. Very big on Chipotle. Oh yeah. Um, do you have any superstitions for football? Uh, I, I take uh, look good, feel good, play good into effect for me. I like to uh, bring out a lot of different pairs of cleats, uh, different looks every game. It's all about, uh, you know, looking good and feeling good for me. And uh, I think that contributes to my success on the field. Yeah. Um, do you have any pets? Uh, I do. I have a uh, puppy dog named Remy. He's a golden doodle. Nice. Um, also, what's something people may not know about you? Uh, wow. <laughs> um, I... I stump everyone with that question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like to take bike rides, man. Like that's something that people don't maybe know about me. I like to, to ride my bike quite a bit in the summer. I haven't done it in a little bit, but yeah, me and my buddy like to go on bike rides a lot. That's awesome. All right. Well, Luca, thank you so much uh, for coming on and talking with us and uh, good luck this next week against Salem. Yeah, I appreciate it.